One of the main reasons for accounting is to help stakeholders measure the health of a company and make decisions based on numbers. Oftentimes, this is done by comparing two sets of numbers together. Sometimes this is comparing one accounting period to another, and sometimes it's comparing the financial information of two different companies. Ratios are mathematical calculations that help stakeholders compare two different sets of financial statements in a way that is fair and objective. There are many ratios used by different stakeholders depending on what information they are trying to learn. We will look at a few of the more common ratios in this course. The first ratio that I want to explore is called a return on sales. The word return represents the amount of money that the owners get from the company. In accounting, that is represented by net income. So return really means net income. Return on sales is calculated as net income divided by sales. This is easy to remember because the name of the ratio literally tells us how to calculate it. See, the ratio is called return on sales. And the calculation is the return, or net income, on top of sales. That is how to calculate it. Hopefully that will help you remember the ratio. The return on sales ratio is typically expressed as a percentage and shows a stakeholder what percentage of sales the owner of the company gets to keep as net income. The more money an owner gets to keep, the healthier a company is and the more attractive it is to potential investors. Now let's try calculating a return on sales. Let's imagine that your company makes $263,500 a year in total sales and their net income on the income statement for the same year is $26,350. How much is return on sales? Remember, we take the return or net income of $26,350 and divide that on total sales of 263,500. This gives us 0.10 or 10%. This means that the company has a return on sales of 10%. In other words, the company's owners get to keep 10% of their sales after expenses are all taken out. Now remember, a single ratio all by itself has very little value. Ratios are designed to compare two sets of financial information together. Just looking at this 10%, is that a good ratio or a bad ratio? We don't really know unless we compare it to a previous year or other businesses in the industry. If this were a real estate company with very little expenses, this might be a bad ratio compared to other similar real estate companies. If it were a restaurant, then 10% would be amazing because restaurants usually have very low returns on sales. So remember, a return means net income when we are talking about ratios. Return on sales is calculated as net income divided by total sales. It is always expressed as a percentage, and the ratios need to be compared to something else if they're going to be of value. To learn more about ratios and other accounting topics, check out more of my videos on YouTube or visit ToriNorman.com.